first we're going to start with the Becca Backlight Primer. Because these two are recommended that you use them together. This is the foundation and this is the primer. So I'm going to do what is recommended and use the primer first. It comes with a pump. So I'm going to put it on the back of my hand first. And it kind of has a tint, but um, when you put it on your skin, it uh, rubs out clear. It's got shimmers in it too. We'll see how that looks on the skin. Do one more pump. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot. It's going to be interesting to see how this foundation looks on me because I have large pores in my T-zone area. Um, and I get really oily in my T-zone area, so I am going to put down a um, matte primer along my T-zone area just so it's not like I'm setting myself up for failure as far as having a greasy face. So I'm going to use my baby skin pore eraser. I'm almost out of this. I need some more. There we go. So we're just going to, I'm just going to dab that down my T-zone so at least I can say I tried to prime properly and that's why the foundation didn't work. Hopefully that's not what we're going to say, but you never know. So I've seen a bunch of people use this foundation with a damp beauty sponge. So that's what I'm using. This is my Real Techniques beauty sponge. So um, I'm going to take the foundation. Now it's, it's pretty unique as far as how you apply it. So you twist it like that and this little um, button pushes up because the foundation comes in a dropper. So to soak up some foundation, you use the button like this. not really ideal for one-handed use, I feel like, but it is what it is. Get some hair on it. Mm. Alright, so this is how much I used. Um, we're going to see if that covers my entire face, so I'm just going to dab it out evenly, just like I would any other foundation. And I'm definitely looking for coverage because I'm getting over a breakout right now. So I got some hyperpigmentation right here. I still got this monster that's lingering. So I hope this um, foundation is able to cover it. So we're going to take my beauty sponge. I literally have hair everywhere. All right, we're going to take my beauty sponge and just tap that in. So that's all blended. Um, as far as coverage goes, it doesn't give a lot of coverage, I don't think. And it, it looks like it's highlighting my texture. Yeah, that's, yeah, it definitely is highlighting my texture. Uh, Maybe this foundation is best used with a smoothing primer. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but you can like you can see the texture of my skin. Like I like having a skin-like finish, but I like it to be a smooth skin-like finish. Um, as far as coverage goes, that one um, pump from the foundation I don't feel was enough so I'm gonna put another pump on and see if maybe it'll smooth out and see if um, the, I'll get more coverage if it's buildable basically so let's do that so we're gonna do another drop of the foundation I'm gonna do the same amount I did last time just that and I'm in the color beige. I don't think I mentioned that, so. I'm pretty pale. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to try to do a little bit more coverage in the center of my face. And around my blemish, blemishes. 
and um, see if I'll get some more coverage. Taking a damp beauty sponge and just beating that in. You know. It's definitely luminous, I will say that. It's just, I think, if you do not have smooth skin, like if your skin is textured, it's just going to accentuate that, which, I don't know. You can still see the texture of my skin. And it's like the foundation is just like sitting on my skin. Like, I kind of look like I have alligator skin. <laughs> uh, ooh, I don't like that. Okay. I'm going to use my Morphe brush and see if I can like buff it in. Okay, so I'm going to use my Morphe 439 buffing brush to see if I can buff this in a little bit and maybe it'll get rid of the texture. Because I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm looking in the mirror, point blank in the mirror, and I look like Reptile <laughs> from Mortal Kombat. So let's see if this will help. I'm going to um, spray some primer water on the brush and start buffing. Let's take another look. This, um, I don't know if you all can see that. It's just, this foundation is not working for me. Um, it's highlighting my texture. Um, it did cover my pores, I will say that. On my nose, You, my pores, you can't really see them. Um, but everywhere else where I have texture, like around here, around here, along my jaw, um, you can see in. I get dry right here and right here. Like I get oily on my nose, but then around my mouth and on the, my forehead, I'm dry. And this foundation looks like it's sticking to it. And it's a little patchy, too. Like it's patchy right here, it's patchy on my cheeks. So, hmm. Yeah, I can't really say I like this foundation because I don't. So, um, that does not mean that you shouldn't try it out. However, I would not get the full size right off the bat because. If it doesn't work for one person, it may not work for you either. So I would get a sample size um, if they're available and see how it works with your skin. But uh, this is not working for mine. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box. Um, I'll leave a link to this Becca Foundation um, at, on the Ulta website I'll leave the link so you can go and check it out maybe you do want to buy the full version maybe you're just gonna go get a sample whichever you decide it's a good foundation it just doesn't work for me um, the color was perfect so if you're my skin complexion which is I'm a little yellow then beige is definitely definitely for you um, I'm gonna play around with the primer a little bit um, and see because I like the primer but the foundation just isn't working. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit, probably do some makeup tutorials um, using this and maybe my Cover FX cover drop, color drops and maybe my drugstore uh, Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Maybe it'll work really well with this, so we'll find out, but um, I'm, gonna return the, I'm gonna return the foundation. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. And there'll be a lot of new videos coming up on my channel soon. Bye, guys!